Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. I am going to be showing you the new Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette. Okay, not really. Not really. I'm so sorry to fool you, but I'm going to show you what I created, what I think a fun Natasha Denona mini love palette will look like. Okay, so this video is a collaboration. I am collabing with Hey It's Jacqueline on today's video. And Jacqueline does a whole series on her channel of creating her own palettes. And she's done Natasha Denona. She's done Anastasia. She's done Pat McGrath. And it's such a fun series. And when she asked if I wanted to collab with her and do our own versions of a Natasha Denona palette, I was like, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. So thank you so much to Jacqueline for collabing with me and for asking me to be a part of this series. She's done a lot of different collaborations with other creators also, and I've watched those videos, and it's so fun to see the different color schemes that people come up with and, you know, what it is that kind of would create a perfect palette for them. So I really wanted to hop on this one. So, of course, I'm going to leave Jacqueline's channel in my description box. Please make sure to go check her out. I will link her video. She is so enthusiastic about makeup, which just makes watching her video so fun because no matter what it is that she's talking about or the makeup that she's playing with or designing her own palettes she's just excited about it she's enthusiastic and it just makes it so enjoyable to watch her videos because you know that she's just having fun making them so again a big thank you to Jacqueline for inviting me to this series I had a lot of fun I'm really excited what palette she's going to create because I know she just did another one she did a mini bronze Natasha Denona palette and I thought that was really cool to see her take on it so if you want to see how I created my own mini Natasha Denona love palette why don't we go ahead and get started so when Jacqueline first approached me to do this video my first thought was creating an all-star Natasha Denona mini palette if you're new to my channel or you're coming from at Jacqueline's channel. Hi, hello. My name is Samantha March and I love the Natasha Denona mini palettes. The mini nude is a favorite of mine. Uh, I recently did ranking all of the eyeshadow palettes that I've tried so far in 2020 and I have multiple Natasha Denona palettes in there also. One thing about the mini palettes, I just enjoy them so much. So I knew that I would want to create a mini. So I was just going to do a mini all-star palette. But then I really love the love palette it was ranked so high in all of the palettes that I've tried so far in 2020 and it was over 30 palettes that I was ranking in that video the love palette came in so high and I do really enjoy the size of this palette this is the midi size I was like what could I do to have this be more in this mini form let's try to create something here i really wanted to use all shades my first thought was to use all shades from the love palette because you can actually pop these out i've seen jacqueline say that and I, I thought that could be fun but then i had to bring in some other palettes too so i wasn't able to pop everything out but i am going to try to have a photo of what the palette would look like i don't know if my skills will allow me to do it but i am going to try it the best that i can or i did also want to have the swatches on my hand here just in case i couldn't actually pull it off i i wanted to like at least have something here to offer you and i also want to say that i filmed this look for my instagram which is using my version of a mini love palette so that will be over on my instagram which is march beauty word if you want to see how i got this eye look right here jumping into what i thought a mini love palette could look like Again, here is what the swatches are, and I kind of have them in a different order too because in Natasha Denona minis, she doesn't really have like um, like a color. It doesn't go from lightest to darkest. It doesn't go from all shimmers to all mattes or vice versa. So I kind of wanted to have that come into play also with my own little version of the mini palette. So I have shades from the Love palette. I also have a shade from the Bronze palette, and I also have a shade from the mini Retro to kind of create this color scheme right here. Uh, I do also have a video on my TikTok if you guys are on that app. I did two different videos over there ranking all of the Natasha Denona palette that I have in my collection. So if you want to see a separate ranking of just the Natasha Denona, so far over there I've done Natasha Denona and also ColourPop ranking all of my palettes there and I'm Samantha March XO over on TikTok. But jumping into it, the first shade that I knew I really really wanted out of the Love palette is this one here which is in Transparent. Transparent is described as a nude pink ivory and this one is just a really beautiful shimmer. You can see it's kind of that wet looking shimmer. I think that it's gorgeous. I reach into that one so often when I go into the love palette. You can use it on the lid. I also used it like I used it on the inner part of my eye. I also used it on my inner corner and also my brow bone. It's just a shade that I feel like I would need if I was creating 
little five pan palette like this so transparent was the first one and then also out of the love palette the next shade that i grabbed out was soul soul is one of my favorite like soul and transparent if I could, could create a duo from the Love palette, that's the duo that I would create and I would just, I would have a blast with that. Those two shades just really speak to me on another level, but Soul is going to be a matte shade and this one is described as a dusty rose. Like that's just, that just like sums me up, I feel like. I knew that I had to include uh, Soul in this palette for sure and I used it today. This was the first shade that I went into and I used it on the crease and the outer part of my eye and then next up another one from the love palette i have in here trust which is this purple at the end so this is another matte shade initially when i was thinking about a mini love palette my my mind immediately went to purple i was like i'm going to create a really beautiful purple five pan palette but honestly the love palette definitely is more pink like you do have a scattering of purples in here but a lot of them are pink or pull pink even this first shade right here uh, it to me it's more pink than it is purple it's like a peachy a very light peachy pink so there's not a ton of purple that I could have grabbed from pink was definitely more of that option so that's why I decided to kind of lean into the more pink of it but I really really wanted to include a purple purple is one of my favorite shades to wear on my eyes there's not a lot of just like straight purple palettes out there either I really wanted to keep it with all the Natasha um, the, the whole Natasha formula and just using my Natasha palettes so I was pretty limited on the amount of purples that I could use so that's why I ended up going more pink but again I really wanted to include a purple in here and trust is one that I go into often because even for such a dark purple I think that it performs really well the mattes and the love palette I think are, are are just beautiful so trust is described as a medium purple and yeah definitely wanted to include that matte in here next up I knew I wanted a Another matte shade and I knew that I wanted it to be a little bit lighter because both soul and trust I mean they have they have some oomph to them and sometimes I like a little bit of a lighter look or I want a lighter shade to be able to um, you know blend out my crease or blend out some of the shadows without having something that's too pigmented or too deep I was looking around at my palettes like what could I do what could I do I knew that I didn't want a brown I really wanted to I love neutrals again the mini nude I've hit pan in that kind of like medium camel brown in that palette I really really wanted to play into a pink and purple color story as much as I could so I actually reached into my mini retro if you did catch my ranking video a lot of people were surprised that this didn't come farther down the line and while I still like it there was the majority like the vast majority of the palettes that I ranked in that video I liked and I liked them all and it was really hard to be able to rank them but out of my Natasha palettes and then especially out of the minis this is one that isn't quite my favorite again I have those videos on TikTok that I will try to uh, link down below also if you want to catch the full rankings of them but this one to me I was like this matte shade is going to be perfect for what I was thinking of because it's matte it pulls more pink but it's also pretty light this shade is vintage taupe and this is an antique rose and again I mean dusty rose we got the antique rose I mean I feel like mm, it's just it's just me vibes so again it's a really neutral shadow it is pretty light you know I built it up a couple times to so you could see the swatch there but it has that muted pink shade so I thought it would make the most sense to put into this palette and I really felt like it was one of my only options besides going with something that was more of a straight brown and I just I was really trying to avoid brown for this palette I love neutrals so that was a bit of a challenge for me and then last up uh, actually I pulled from the new bronze palette I've also really been liking this eyeshadow palette from Natasha. One of my favorite shades in the palette is actually Bliss. Bliss is described as a red pink with a golden green reflect. And this one was kind of like, I wanted there to be one wild card shade. And not even that I feel like Natasha's minis often have that wild card but for me it's something that i talk about when i created an all-star palette which was another collaboration that i did with the youtuber mandy lee i i talk about a wild card shade and i don't i've just I feel like that's kind of fun. I feel like I would always want like a wild card in there, just something to switch it up. So this one, I like it because it does still lean pink. So I felt like it would work with the color story, but then you have that gold reflect in here. It can pull even a little bit red and I just thought it would be a fun shade. So for Trust, the darker purple, I also put that 
a little bit oversold like in the crease and the outer part of my eye to kind of mix those two together I blended everything out with the antique rose and then I put a little bit of this bliss right in the center of my eyelid and then in the inner part that is where I put transparent so that's how I created the eye look but I just felt like this one was fun you could wear this all over the lid and just rock that if you wanted to um, or you could you know you could just do like this four color scheme you could just do even like the two shades I just felt like they're like I, I feel like looking at these five shades I can create a lot of looks with it the mostly pink palette with a pop of purple in here but I still feel like I could do a lot of looks right I don't know is it just me and I don't even I, I, I always say it I don't have the most visual mind but the love palette inspires me and it's one of the reasons why I ranked it so high because I was like when I look at this I think of so many different color combinations that I could do so when I thought about creating the mini love out of this I was like I have so many ideas there's just so many different color combinations I had my whole arm all the way past my elbow I was just swatching so many different colors and I was just having such a fun time with it it was actually a really fun experience to be able to create this and I'm actually really proud of it because I think it looks cool and even today I used all five of these shades but I would totally like I would totally buy this eyeshadow palette if it came out these retail for $25 I would buy this 100% Natasha if you are watching this just go ahead and give me a call. I feel like we could make it work. I mean, you guys know we're friends. I'll just tell her at next girl's night or I could just text her because I, I have her phone number too. So maybe I'll just um, like text her some of these swatches, maybe get like a mock-up going so you'll see it for sale. Okay, that is a joke and Natasha is not friends of mine and I don't have her phone number and we don't actually go to girl's nights together. But if we did, I would just show up with these swatches on my hand one night and be like, what's up? What are we talking about? what's new what do you guys think what do you think of my mini love palette is this something that you would rock i know pinks and purples aren't always for everybody but would you buy this if this came out in store how let, let me know or what would your mini love palette look like i would love to know i had so much fun with this uh, i can't wait to see what what type of palette jacqueline created i'm not sure if she's doing a mini or if she's doing something else uh, but i'm really excited to see what she comes up with because this is such a fun series on her channel and it, it was fun for me to use my creativity in a bit of a different way and try to figure out what works and what would work together and what would make a cohesive palette yet it's still fun and it still embodies like the the love theme of this palette i wanted to use the most shades from this one you know there's three out of this palette and like i said i would I would totally buy this if this came out 100% I would be all over it so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you thought uh, I don't do videos like this very often but if you would want to see another one if you'd want to see my all-star Natasha palette if you would want me to put together you know a Charlotte Tilbury quad maybe I could do a Charlotte Tilbury quad I don't know something like that let me know if you'd want to see more of these because this was a lot of fun for me thank you so much to Jacqueline for asking me to collaborate on this series that you do I had a great time please make sure to go check out her channel of course let her know that I sent you that would be fantastic other than that though if you guys did enjoy this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video bye